If you are having a problem going on in your life and you want to share it with Burt Show fam, they are way smarter than we are here in studio, and they'll help you out. At, um, you can hit us up with your email at thebertshow.com. In this case, her cousin, she thinks, is being treated differently at work because of her prison past. Hello, longtime listener, first-time emailer. I wanted to ask for some advice. My cousin has been working for a company for about three years now. At first, it was fine. But she, was, but she has recently noticed some tension at the office. She can tell people have been treating her differently. She thinks they found out about her past. She was in prison right before she was employed with them. She wanted to keep it a secret because there is a bias towards people with a criminal record. She really thinks she's going to get fired. My cousin has literally caught them going through her personal belongings at work. Their excuse was something along the lines of, we were just trying to find a document. It was pretty obvious what they were doing. She also has overheard her coworkers talking about her. Things like, I don't think she knows. She's been working for this company too long to be fired, but she really thinks she will be. What I want to know is, if they really fire her for not disclosing this information to everyone, I believe the HR manager knows, but no one else does. Should she go to her boss and directly ask her why she's being treated differently or let things play out? I'm trying to be positive for her and tell her she's just being paranoid, Mm -hmm. but I'm starting to think she should look for another job. Thank you so much. This this might be a tough one to get some advice on, but if you're you're listening early, 1-855-BIRDSHOW. That was my question in the bottom also. Like, I'm not saying it's not legit. Like, bias in a situation like that could be happening, but also... You also might be going into work with this idea that everybody knows that you're there. And when you do that and you're looking at life with that kind of lens, you kind of look at it paranoid and things are happening that in your head that maybe are maybe not happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. they. I mean, they very well could be treating her differently, but it may have nothing to do with them knowing about her prison past. It could be something completely different, but she's mm-hmm. so hyper-focused on that and so worried about that. That for her, that's going to be the reason for everything. She might just suck at her job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just messing up a lot. And they're all like, I don't think she knows she sucks. And I don't think like, you, they can put you back in jail for that. No. You suck at this job, you're going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> oh but I do understand awesome. when you feel like, like I, I get what she's saying, where she has that secret. So then when people yeah. start whispering about her, like that's a, or whispering about something, she's like, do they know? Like, that's the worst. So I feel for her. I really don't know that saying anything to HR is going to do anything besides make them go, uh, is that a little paranoid and narcissistic? Think everybody's talking about you all the time or something? Does she say here that for sure everybody knows this or she's just assuming she's because assuming. the assuming. HR manager knows? But HR, at least legally, is not allowed to disclose that to anybody in the office, right? If you have an ethical one, yes. yes. Right. <laughs> I would think that would be part of being an HR manager. Being ethical? <laughs> yeah. You would hope. Uh-huh. <laughs> it could just be paranoia. For that reason, I would kind of continue to move around as mm-hmm. if it's nothing. But at the same time, you might not want to be there either way just because the energy towards you is making you feel that way. So looking for a new job might not be a bad idea. But also, if you're carrying this like perception around, it doesn't matter what job you go to. You're just going to automatically assume mm-hmm. everybody there knows about your prison pass. So That's fair. I think on your first day, you just got to jump on the table and go, okay. Let's clear the air. Here's why I was in jail. Right. She should just frame her mugshot and put yeah. it at her desk yeah. and see if anybody comes up and ask her oh about it. Oh, my God. Put your old shiv in a little glass case right there on display. All your jail questions right here. Come yeah. I wouldn't even know. Like, do you guys have any idea if you've ever worked with anybody that has done any time in prison? Yeah. You do? It, yeah. Waiting tables. You just assume it? I don't assume it. I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't have any confirmation. Yeah. yeah that, that I've ever worked with anybody that served like prison time. It wouldn't affect the way that I look at them anyway. Well, I guess depending on what they were in for. The yeah. infraction. Yeah. That's yeah. what they did. That it makes does. a difference. I guess if I'm waiting tables with somebody that killed a bunch of people in another city and then left and they found them, yeah, I'm probably going to treat that person a little bit differently. Might Hopefully be, they wouldn't would, be out of prison if they killed a yeah, bunch of In this people. system, yeah, please. Bunch, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I would make that guy my best friend. <laughs> the Bird Show.